Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing normal distribution type 2 reverse problems and we'll discuss one example on it. Friends, till now we have covered a forward problems. That means x is provided and through x we found out probability. x we found out z and then we found out the probability. Now we'll discuss reverse problems. Reverse problem means probability is given and we need to find it out x. Exactly opposite to what we did till now. In type 1 from x we found out probability. In type 2 from probability we are going to find it out x. For this particular type you need to remember one technique that I am giving you. This is the curve that you need to remember. Whenever you see word like big, greater, above you are going to see from this particular side big uh, above these kind of words greater and so on and whenever you see words like small less under you are going to check from this particular side obviously as you move on the values increases like 1 2 3 4 and this side the values decreases you need to remember this for solving this particular type of problem one more thing whether x is asked or not it is difficult to identify whether the problem belongs to type 1 or type 2 for that purpose you need to remember what is x x is whichever mean and standard deviation is given that is x for example in the problem if marks mean and standard deviation is provided x is marks salary mean and standard is deviation is provided x is salary so you need to remember that what exactly is x let's discuss the first example of this particular type if x is a normal variate with mean 25 m is equal to 25 standard deviation is 5 find the value of in the first problem we need to find it x1 then we need to find it out x2 we need to find it out x3 First probability is 0 0.32, then 0 0.73, 0 0.24. By looking at the problem, it is very clear probabilities are given and we need to find it out x. It has to be a reverse problem. Here identification is not problem. In the next videos, we will discuss complicated example in which it is difficult to identify. But this is very simple. This is the basic problem. So, let us understand it. How to solve this? Your first case is probability x greater than equal to x1 equal to 0.32 it's a reverse problem probability is provided let's first of all shade this region you can clearly see greater than equal to word in the problem therefore as discussed we're going to look from this particular side because of this greater than equal to and it is 0.32 if you start shading from this you have to stop in between because the total area this total area is 0.5 and from this side we are looking for 0.32 so you have to stop in between now we need to go to z table and we need to check the value of z at this particular point let's go back to z table this is my z table the problem here is what i am going to check and where i am going to check here friends this area is 0.32 I want z value so this is quite clear I am going to check in between the table because these values are z values on top on column inside we do have probability value suppose I check 0.32 let us find it out 0.32 in the table this is 0.32 obviously we are not finding exactly 0.32 so we will check the nearer value this is 0.32 this also is near to 0.32 but there is a difference of 14 and here difference is 12 therefore I am selecting this. I will go this side this is 0.9 I will go up this is 0 0.02 0 0.9 0 0.02 if I will add I will get 0.92 this is the value of z. Friends can you tell me this z that we got is 0.92 if I'll shade this area this area actually I'm shading that is 0.32 is this clear 
bit con confusing, right? If I'll check 0.32 in the probability table, in F, if I'll get the value of Z, basically I'm talking about this because Z table always start with Z is equal to 0. But do I need this region? Let's check. Do I need this? No. See here, I want actually this region, not the shaded region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract. I want actually this region. So that will be 0.5 minus 0.32. That will be 0.18 this region is 0.18 now i'm going to go to z table and check for 0.18 what is the z value 0.18 let's find it out in the z table this is the nearer value of 0.18 we'll go this side this is 0.4 we'll go up this is 0 0.07 therefore z will be 0.47 this is the value of z i got it as 0.47 I actually want x. What is the formula for z? z is equal to x minus m upon sigma. Unknown is x. Therefore, x minus m will be cross multiply. That is z sigma. Therefore, x will be z sigma plus m. Let us substitute the values to get the value of z. To get the value of x. z here is 0.47. We just got it at sigma is given provided in the problem which is phi and mean is also provided in the problem which is 25 if you simplify i'll get the value of x as 27.82 this is the first answer if you're not clear don't worry we do have two more examples let's discuss the second one p x less than equal to x2 is 0.73 this is the next example we're talking about let us shade the region first here in this problem less than equal to that means we're going to check from which side from this particular side i'm starting shading from this particular side this is 0 0.5 half covered 0 0.733 so obviously it is going to cross 0 0.5 and 0 0.73 will be somewhere around here this is the shaded region I want the value of z here. How to get the value of z? What to check in the z table? This is 0.5 because the left side area is shaded. This is 0.23. How got 0.23? How come it is 0.23? Total is 0.73. 0.5 this side. 0.5 plus 0.23 will be 0.73. Friends, for finding the value of z, we just need this particular region, this one that is 0.23 only this region is of no use for finding the value of z to us therefore we go back to z table and we're going to find it out the value of z at probability 0 0.23 0 0.23 let's check here we're getting 0 0.23 we'll go this side that is 0 0.6 we'll go up that is 0 0.01 that is 0 0.61 z value is 0.61 as discussed x is equal to z sigma plus m here z is 0.61 into sigma is 5 plus m is 25 if you simplify you will get the answer as 28.05 this is the value of x for the second case let's discuss the last case case number 3 is p x less than equal to x3 that is 0 0.24 again friends here less than equal to is there that means we'll start from this because it is less than equal to sign we need to cover 0 0.24 we need to stop somewhere in between obviously because the total area is 0.5 so point 24 will be somewhere in between if i'll go to z table in i will check the value of z probability at 0 0.24 do i need to check for 0 0.24 no first of all i need to find this probability because in the z table we always start with z is equal to 0 this is similar to case 1 we need to find it out this that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.24 that is 0 0.24 
0.26. Now we'll go to Z table and we'll find it out corresponding to probability 0.26. What is the value of a Z? Let's find it out 0.26. 0.26 this is the value of 0.26 this side it is 0.7 if we go up that is 0.01 that is 0.71 we got the value of z as 0.71 a very important note friends always remember if the value of z is this particular side you need to take minus remember this while finding the probability, we don't consider minus. But while writing the value of z, we need to take this minus sign. Already discussed, this is z is equal to 0, this side is positive and this side z is negative. So, don't forget this minus sign. This is very important. Therefore, x is equal to z sigma plus m. Let us substitute z value. We got it as 0.71 into sigma plus m m is 25 x equal to 21.45 this is the value of x we got x for all the three cases if you understand the first problem repeat this videos twice thrice till the time you understand this example because if you understand this example the next of the problems will be very simple so this is the basic concept of reverse problems in the next video we'll discuss few word problems thank you